okay now that we had gone through the folder structure let me start with the cat drawings so first we check the feasibility so the current one gdnt we open right and here is the gdnt so it's a 2d drawing and uh, it has mentioned which will be the stamping direction all right and uh, okay so the stamping direction is this way and uh, also it has now what we need to see we need to see the data may so the data may are these four a1 a2 a3 a4 these four points are having diameter 18 we have to make sure that the part when we check in the gauge fixture must not have net pad size bigger or smaller than this right then we have uh, datum b and c so uh, now we know that when we check the part it has to be checked against datum a and datum b is this whole round hole of four point uh, check it will be so the point uh, pin will have four points uh, or throughout it will be like 12.5 plus minus 0 0.05 you see there is no positional tolerance given because it's a datum datum c datum c is two point only even if it's a hole a round hole it just uses two point 12.5 plus minus 0 0.05 datum c and the other uh, diameter uh, like 12.5 uh, it has a tolerance over there and then this uh, uh, now we have to see the trim line so like uh, uh, after the after the datum b and c when the part is clamped on datum a b and c right uh, clamped on datum a and located on b and c then we have to check the part so for example this trim line it has to have plus minus 1.5 millimeter tall length with respect to a b c b and c will have max uh, max condition and uh, this one here positional tall length is plus minus 0.5 right and uh, now we go to uh, these two flanges these two flanges has plus minus 0.7 it's a surface tolerance over here right and then these oblong holes oblong hole size is 8.5 into 12.5 with the original tall length as mentioned plus minus 0.5 right and these are uh, those two are actually datum e d and d those uh, as you can see over here right now Now we see this side, this surface has plus minus 0.7 tolerance again, all these three uh, small flanges. And over here, uh, as you can see, 44 is the distance between these two holes. Okay, let me turn it. I'm rotating it uh, once more. Yes. So, uh, uh, we can see uh, these four the small holes which are dia 5.5 size tolerance is plus minus 0.1 and positional tolerance is plus minus 0.5 right all these four holes okay so now we check the general tolerance on surface plus minus 1 and on trim line plus minus 1.25 uh, material is uh, it's a fourth part and the material is as per four display m1 a365 right and thickness is 1.6 millimeter uh, anything else yeah that's all part number so this is the 2d now we open the 3d uh, now we are going to open the 3d here and uh, okay here it is we are going to open the 3 now so this is the latest uh, 3d file for this part it will take some time
Okay, so this is open, as you can see. So this is the latest uh, 3D data of this part, based upon what we have designed the strip layout, designed the dies, build the dies. I'll tell you that this has some changes. This has some changes with respect to the first data which we had gotten from the customer. So that was not feasible. Like I told you that we do some feasibility study. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how it used to look the very first part and what changes we did here. So I'm opening the very first part here. So that is what we had received from customer. And okay, it's getting open now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was the first part what we had received. Now you can see just in this area we have changed the radius was very very sharp over there. And okay, let me import and do a quick overlay for you with respect to the latest data. It's getting imported. Okay, uh, you can see, you can see there is a radius difference. You can see there is a timeline difference. So let me do render with the edges, and you can see. So we have provided that notch. Without that, it was not possible to form it. I will show you when we discuss the simulation. Right, so apart from that, in nowhere else we had any problem. So only that area we had problem. Everywhere else we were good. So that area we did change, right? And uh, after like couple iterations, our changes were approved by customer. They accepted it, and based upon the latest data, this OK data, which is green data, we made the strip layout, we made the die design, and we built the part. Everything was done with respect to this data. Okay.